everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while, like two weeks since I posted a video, um, but ever since my birthday, life's kind of just been like, go, go, go. I did post a birthday hike vlog. Um, I will link it down below, but if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's kind of me in my element, me looking kind of like a troll, which is pretty much me all the time <laughs> because I actually am a hot mess. Like, 75% of the time. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably already know that because I'm pretty much um, a disaster all the time. Okay, so today I actually have a little bit of bonus. So because this video is late, I have not only the Skin Frost to swatch and the Beauty Killer palette, but I have mm, Mannequin and Rose Matter. So I'm actually wearing Mannequin right now. And I would have to say Mannequin is the perfect nude. If you're following me on Snapchat, then you've already seen me obsessing over it. It is a mix between celebrity skin and eye nudes. And like I said, I knew as soon as it came out that that's exactly what this would be. And if you have either one of those and you either don't like one because it's too dark or you don't like the other because it's too light then this right here is heaven sense like hallelujah that was awkward okay so <laughs> i will swatch these for you later um but first i think what i want to talk about is the beauty killer palette i am actually using the palette on the eyes today i've used it so many times since i've gotten it and i haven't worn a lot of makeup but almost every single time that i've worn makeup since my birthday i've reached for this palette since getting it because i received it two days after my birthday maybe so let's jump right in today on my eyes i don't know if you can tell um i know the camera's a little bit far off I'll be sure to zoom in when I uh, when I do the lipstick swatches. So I'm sure you've already seen this before. I'm sure you've seen swatches a million times, but this is my time. This is my time to talk about this, whether or not I love it or I hate it. This is gonna be my, I don't wanna say first impression, but I will talk about my first impression. So I've worn, well today, we'll talk about today. Today I'm wearing Courtney Black Rainbow China White um, Violence and rich bitch on the eyes. I love them all. So the first time I wore this palette, I I, I actually didn't want to do anything too crazy, and I was I was really excited. So I went for Courtney because Courtney is fabulous. I don't think I have another everyday nude like this, and I have a lot. Let me tell you. I know there's some similar to it, but none that I love, like I love this one, none that are as buttery as this one, and none that blend as well as this one. So when I first decided to use it, I used Courtney, and then I went into Confession, and I just lightly tapped the brush, and I went into my crease, and I was offended at how pigmented it was. I was like, holy shit, no. I was not expecting it to be that pigmented so when I put it into my crease it packed so much eyeshadow that I was freaking out because I was not expecting that much to come off my brush I was not expecting that much to be picked up by my brush and I used I believe was the Morphe E28 blending brush I don't don't quote me on that <laughs> I could be wrong but I was using that brush and I all I did was tuck it in that corner and I was about to blend out and BAM all I had on my lid was confession. I was like, holy, oh my gosh, no. This is not what I wanted to do. Not that it's a bad thing, but let me warn you, if you haven't used these and you're using them, it's a little bit, <laughs> it'll blow your mind, okay? And then, of course, honestly, you can't go wrong with Rich Bitch. It is one of the most gorgeous gold shades I have. I don't even think I have a gold shade like it. Now that I think about it, I'm probably going to go and try and find a gold shade that I have. But I'm like 90% sure all I have is like coppers and bronze and, you know, kind of gold. But nothing actually gold. Also, let me tell you. This here, Black Rainbow, I had no idea that I needed a black eyeshadow with specks of glitter in it until I swatched this one. I could not believe my eyes. I have a lot of black. As you can see, I'm wearing it here, but 
I don't think any of the other ones that I have are as pigmented as this one. Let me see if I can actually do this on my arm right now. What the fuck, right? <laughs> Pardon my language, but seriously, gorgeous. The other shade that I'm completely obsessed with is expensive because, as you know, this breaks my heart to even talk about this, but as you know, I'm a Sharks fan, and this here is the perfect Sharks seal. Anyways, so, um, hello, hallelujah. These two shades alone scream sharks, like San Jose sharks. And, um, hello, that, that, that just means it's perfect for me. So if Jeffrey actually wants to come out with black, rainbow, Courtney, rich, bitch, and expensive as single pants, then I would be set for life. Honestly, like they are fantastic. Um, my poor fingers. Do you see this? Do you see how pigmented these are? I just wiped them on a makeup remover wipe and it's being a puta. So the only two shades that I cannot speak to um, that I haven't really tried are these two here, um, Star Power and Princess. I did use Princess today on the inner corner of the eye, and it's a really pretty shade. I have not used it on the lid, so I'm not going to lie and say they are fabulous. They swatched amazing. Um, Star Power took a little bit of building. Um, let me see if I can swatch it for you right now and have it show up. But are you kidding me? So, normally when you have matte shades that are super bright in color, they take quite a bit to build them. And I think what I did in my swatches, if you've seen that picture on Instagram, I will put it here. Some of them I did have to go over twice. Um, Star Power was one of them, but they swatched like butter. It wasn't a problem. I absolutely loved um, how much color they picked up. Just despite the intensity with the first swatch, it's still it, it, it still remains true to its color with the building. So I know sometimes when you have an eyeshadow, it's pretty in the pan, and then you swatch it, and it changes colors. You're kind of like, eh, it's not really what I had in mind when I bought this. I was really happy that all of these translated from the pan to the swatch same color that is so important to me moving on the palette does sell for $46 these pans are pretty huge I mean it's as big as my head I think these are almost double the size of regular eyeshadows um I'll probably go through them quicker than my regular eyeshadows because I love them so much let me go ahead and swatch Rich Bitch so you know what I mean and you understand why I've used it in every single look. I mean, really? Seriously? Can, can we talk about this a little bit? Oh, hi, Desmond. Let's swatch Princess. See? I'll put that right here. How pretty is that? Hmm. And then let's go ahead and swatch Violence. I'm um, high. Let's go ahead and swatch Confession. <sighs> that there. Gorgeous. I'm telling you, freaking gorgeous. Uh, and then we'll do Vanity. We'll put that up here next to Black Rainbow. Do you see? It's got brown, plum, almost plum undertones to it, which I really freaking love. I used that one a couple of days ago as well. And the last two shades I have in swatch are Courtney. We'll put that up here. Oh my God, I love that so much. Do you see that? You can't see it very much on my skin because I'm kind of tan, um, but I will get a close up later as well as I mean, the photo from Instagram on there. And then last but not least, um, there is China White. We'll put that down here. Down here, that's China White. Honestly, if we are rating that palette on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably almost give it a 10. I'm not going to give it a 10 because the only potential con I can see is if you like a lot of transition shades, then make sure you're incorporating another palette with it. 
I know going from Courtney, which is the perfect, amazing crease shade, to something like Vanity, it, it's almost a harsh transition, but as long as you're blending it out right, you should be fine. Um, but that can that can be a con to some people. I know some people would probably would have preferred something in between. You definitely want to work with what you've got. Um, if you don't like to do that, if you don't like to experiment, if you don't like to play, if you don't like to be adventurous, then maybe this isn't the palette for you. But who doesn't want to be considered adventurous? So I would have to say definitely recommend um, 9.5 out of 10. That's my thoughts on this palette here. I know it's kind of hard to cover everything that I want to say about it. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, if you want to see these swatch on a lighter skin tone, I have someone I could swatch them on. Let me know. Uh, also, this palette is in stock right now. It does sell for $45. Um, I will link it down below, Jeffrey's link. Shipping is $5, so it's about $50, which is a pretty damn good price considering the size of these pans. Let me tell you, like I said, they're huge. Um, it's really cute packaging. It's just a sleek pink package um, palette with Beauty Killer written in calligraphy. It's really pretty and it's so thin. It's half the size of my iPad mini. So it's going to be great for traveling. Um, I haven't traveled with it yet. Um, I wanted to do this video first just in case something happened. So yeah, now let's talk about the skin frost. So I picked up all four skin frost and I would have to say my favorite is actually ice cold. As you can see, I'm wearing it today. And I love it. <laughs> so when I first saw Ice Cold, I thought that it was going to be, because I, I, you know, just my understanding, it would be better for fair skin. I'm tan. I'm tan as hell. Especially during the summer, I just... Even mint condition was just out of this world. I wore that one first. I... Knew I was not going to use it as an eyeshadow first. I wanted to use it as a damn highlight, and I did. So I wore it to work, and not very many people could tell that I was wearing a green highlight. That's the best part about it. What I really loved about the green highlight is sometimes I get really rosy cheeks, and no, that is not why my mother named me Rosie, because my name is actually Rosalinda. But, so, because of that, the green, as you know, if you know your color correction wheels, green cancels out red, any redness. So I didn't feel like it was too overwhelming, because if anything, it was balancing. But I mean, really, can we talk about this? This is a pretty color. This is really, really pretty. I, I mean, I can't wait to use this as an, an eyeshadow eventually, but I mean, I've worn all of them. I wanted to be able to speak to them, see how they wore, see how they felt, see how they blended, see which one I preferred better. And out of all of them, definitely Ice Cold's my favorite. My second favorite would have to be King Tut. Out of all of the shades, Peach Goddess is the most universal for all skin tones. It's so subtle and it's just perfect. I loved it on my skin tone, especially paired with a, a peach blush. It's it's fantastic. As you've seen from my snaps, from my photos, I got all of them in perfect condition. I was kind of careless with all of them, but I was most careless with King Tut. It went from my purse to my gym bag, from my gym bag to my purse, from my purse back to my gym bag because I was packing to go away. Um, it did break a little but only in the top area I was able to save it. So you can see the star here is still extremely pretty. I wasn't upset about it at all because I knew this was actually my fault. Um, like I said, I was extremely careless with it. I just kind of forgot that I had it in my bag when I was tossing it from bag to bag. Um, but swatches still as beautiful as it did before I broke it. So in love with it. Honestly, mine shipped just fine. So I can't say anything about it, you know, coming broken. Um, they all seem to have the same formula. None of them feel different than the others. They did clarify that a palette was dropped and it could be that if you did receive a broken one, it was because of that reason. Um, I don't, uh, again, I don't believe it was the actual formula. 
So I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these. Uh, I hope you like them. The four shades available were mint condition. I know I'm wearing a different shirt in that video and that's because I actually swatched these uh, before and I had to redo the intro um, because I didn't do it and then I got the lipstick so I kind of just thought maybe hey you know what let's let's do this all over I hope you like this video I know it's a little bit late I know I was supposed to do it forever ago but if you're following me on snap then you know I've been pretty busy my days are pretty long um, and I just I haven't had the most time to do any editing, so I'm so sorry. I really appreciate you guys. Um, honestly, this last month has been just unreal for me. I don't know what I did to deserve all of you, but it feels amazing. Um, you guys are amazing. And honestly, I have some of the best group of supporters. If I haven't thanked you before, I'm thanking you now. Um, I really hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. You can comment if you have any questions or have anything to say. If you don't like this video, please walk away. Pretend it didn't happen. Hopefully, I get you in the next video. Um, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. You can share this video, and I will love you forever. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.